What's going on guys? Big Fluffy Chicken here with uh, the Jam and Chicken. We're back playing Dark Messiah. <clears throat> Before I go into this warehouse, I just remembered. There's a box. Cannot forget the boxes. Stone skin potion. What is that doing? I don't remember. <clears throat> and, um, uh, where'd it go? Here. Turn skin to stone, increasing... Okay, also increases the weight. Well, that might be something we want to use eventually. Not yet. Alright, so let's go into this warehouse and see if we can kill some dudes. Oh. Let's see you there. Now we do have this new bow. Maybe this will be a better shot. Maybe it'll actually kill him if I... Oh, shit. Okay. Let's see. Let's go over into the shadows more. Use the stealth to our advantage. You are sure it's locked? No, it's not. Let's see. Go different ways so I can shoot one of you. Damn it! Okay. Uh, wrong button. Here's the button. Ooh. Okay. Oh, well, that could have gone better. If I remember correctly, there's a ton of guys in here also. Yeah, you can hear some more coming. Oh, hell yeah, I got both of them. That's awesome. Shit. Barrels are so useful. Anything that you can... Oh, that didn't go well. Let's go over and get this one. Where'd you go? It's honestly, it is the best way to kill anybody if you're not a big melee weapon character, which is... Oh, trapdoor key, that's useful. Um, which I'm not. I'm a, primarily a bow. Huh. Oh, there we go. I thought there were more. That's where they are. There we go! That's the headshot I was looking for. Look, he even got stuck to the pillar. Oh, I missed. Where'd you go? You're coming up. I don't know if there's a bonus to damage if they don't see you, but headshots definitely... Oh, shit. Headshots definitely usually do more damage. Let's go ahead and take a look at that guy we pinned. Look at this. We pinned... Oh, no, we didn't. That's disappointing. Maybe we did. Maybe it... I'm gonna pretend we did. Let's just pretend... That we actually did pin him. I missed a box out here. The food and a mana potion. Ooh, quiver. Eventually, um... I think there's something that lets you have, I don't know if it's a special bow or what, but it gives you unlimited arrows. Maybe I'm totally lying and there's not actually anything like that, but I think so. Anyway, trapdoor key code's down there. I believe that's where I need to go. But of course I'm gonna look around a little bit first. Make sure I don't miss any boxes. Well, this is the upstairs. The upstairs looks clear. Let's head down. Nope. Alright. Well, let's... Oh, come on. Let's head down the trap door, then. Hey, more skill points. Alright, I gotta see what I can use. Uh, I can't get... I need one more skill point for the reloading more quickly. Um, critical hit. I wonder if that counts for bows and arrows and stuff. The critical hit one here uh, gives 2% chance to do double damage on power strikes. I don't know, let's check over here so I can get... Nope. Uh, stealth, I need 10 skill points. 
So that's probably never gonna happen. Same thing with Burgoyne. And endurance, that's just health, poison resistance, vitality. Alright, so I think the next one I'm gonna get. Um, actually. Yeah, I'm gonna get the melee. <clears throat> because I'm not gonna get level 2, I'm not gonna bother with that. But since we do have to use daggers occasionally when we get noticed, this unlimited flurry of strikes, as they call it, that's useful. And also, there's a new attack if you sprint. Careful. If you get yourself killed, your father will be most displeased. Wait, who's my father? You know my father? Oh, yes. I've known him. Ew. Anyway, uh, that charge attack, I believe, will knock them down. So that's nice and useful. Hey, you heard about that girl at the wizard's place? That little blonde number? What about her? Ready for this? I overheard that. <laughs> She's tied up with prophecy. What? Hey, he said the name of the game. That old legend that when the last Falcon dies? Headshot. Not a headshot. Oh, damn. I'm gonna get you! He hit me. Alright. <clears throat> so apparently Leanne is tied up in the prophecy. That's a little bit of story you get from random people. Ooh! This is a forge. It's too bad that we're not a sword and shield user. Because this would be great, but I'm going to do it anyway just to show you guys what it is. Uh, oh, quiver, sweet. So, you can read the that book there. I, I think it tells you how. Where is the book? Here it is. Yeah, whatever. Um, You can pause it if, then if you need to look at it, but I believe I can figure this out. So you do need the hammer. You need that steel bar, steel ingot. Whoa, frame rate. Come back to me. Um... And so what you want to do is first Okay, well first you want to stoke the fire here by pressing this um You see how it gets the fire like that? Then you gotta move this over and you put the steel ingot in there and then once the fire is stoked it will actually melt the steel bar into that stuff. So then you move it back over here and you pour it into this mold which is a blade shape and you pull the lever and it cools it. <coughs> so now you have a blade. And now what you need to do is you put the blade in the fire while it's hot. You know, stoke it some more. I don't think you really need to there until it gets that color take it and you put it on this bench here and then you take the hammer that you picked up and you smack it so then you take the blade one last time and you go over here to the hilt tools and boom you made a sword and the long sword is better than a short sword let's see about how much long sword damage three short sword damage two so that's that there's eventually you can make like special kinds of swords there's another at least one other um, forge area like this, like a smithy. <clears throat> so that's pretty cool. That's really that's really cool. Hey, you can do that. Uh, granted, it's only at a couple points in the game, but still, it's nice. So this is like a shortcut area, which works well for being stealthy and sneaky, sneaky. Let's see. So that's the area we killed two to actually I don't want to go this way because it bypasses all that stuff and there's there's like loot and stuff to be had. That's the problem with this game, there are like Oh, okay. In a bunch of places there are like alternate paths to go, but then you miss out on so much like okay, maybe not so much. Maybe that's just the the loot lootaholic in me saying that. But look at all this stuff. Like you miss out on all that. Ring of the Weapon Master. Look at that, it's a magic ring. And there's a Naga Silk Sword, Chainmail Armor, I've got all this handy dandy stuff, a Quiver, and Antidote. Alright, let's check out what we just picked up for that Ring of the Weapon Master. 2% chance to form a critical hit, that's great. So you can have one ring equipped, you can see up here. Um, 
I don't know what that circle icon is next to it. Oh, I bet you that's a shield. <coughs> okay, so that's that. The Naga Silk Sword, we need the Curriculum Hit 1 perk, which is right here. Um, but that does 3 damage just like the Long Sword, but also has a Critical Hit modifier, so that's kind of like a, you know, hyped up and you know, drop the book I don't care about. Um, and then is that pretty much all we picked up? I think so. Yeah, I can drop this bow too. <laughs> Just throw it. Um, so yeah, like you would never know to come in here if you went around that opposite, that other way. So you definitely got it. And there's another one here. Whoa, wrong button. There we go. Okay, so here's some cool stuff. Right here is what we're really looking for. We'll take the corpse off. Poison Chris. This is a main benefit of why we came here. Daggers. Problem with these, so that damage 2, regular daggers are damage 1. So, damage 2 is... Oh. Cool. Uh, better damage, and of course... It has that special effect of once the weapon is charged, I don't really know what that means. Um, you can use a power attack to poison someone. So that's that's pretty cool. So if somebody has a lot of health or they're a big powerful enemy, that's a good thing to do. So we just need to get stealth. One more stealth point, which is 10 skill points. So maybe we'll save up for that um, for our next perk, skill, whatever. Some more potions, anything else over here? Alright, let's read this note. As we decided last week, I will help you enter the warehouse in the city. I'll wait in the caverns tomorrow at midnight. Just come with my reward and you'll have everything you need. Don't worry about our business, I can keep a secret. So this asshole is the one who let all the necromancers in. Clearly they killed him to keep their entrance quiet. Alright, let's go. So that's the place that we can look into. Alright. I wonder where the two paths kind of converge. Oh, uh, maybe it's like over here. Hey, did you hear what happened to Bennett? Let's no, see. but I haven't seen him in a while. I'm gonna while. try and drop this on him. caught him sneaking some. Oh yeah. See, they're not dead. Maybe he's dead now, but. Just knocked him down. The environment is your friend. Absolutely. Okay, are there more dudes over there? Probably. Yeah. I don't know where that other... You know what, maybe that wasn't an alternate way to go. Maybe the... there's like special stuff over that way. Let's check that out. Because maybe there is actually more loot to be had. Let's see. Wait. Oh yeah, okay, I was up here. So. Um, oh, combat staff is better than the wooden staff. Maybe we should just kind of replace that. Combat. There it is, okay. Just in case we ever want to use a staff. <clears throat> so let's see what's down here. Ooh! Ring of Arcane Brilliance? What is that? Ten mana. That would be useful if we were a mage, but it's not useful because we're not a mage. And a dead guy. What is, what is, oh, is this, this is here where we just were, oh, cool. So then where does this end up going? Spiders, oh god. Yeah. Back off, man. They probably poison you, even the little ones. Oh, uh, tell me there aren't the big ones up here then. Oh, it's dark up here. What the hell is over here? Oh, okay, okay, I know where this is. 
so this is just another way to get all the way around. It does go all the way around, but I still don't want to... It's too damn dark. I don't want to go all the way around, because I want to go the normal way. So let's just drop down here. where we killed these two guys. Oh, hell yeah. Some ham on the ground there. Might not be very sanitary, but I'll take it. Alright. Be quiet here. So right up there is where we would have come down. Okay, I guess I could have just gone that way. Anything else in this room? Doesn't look like it. Ooh, there's a note. Warning. Uh-oh. Pay attention when you open the cells. The villagers keep trying to escape. Oh, this sounds like an opportunity. Let's see if we can put that into effect. Is that him? Yes, that's Aaron Tear. Don't make a sound. His power is beyond anything you've ever seen. There's the villagers in the cages. Look! He's opening a portal between the necromancer hive and the tunnels here. That takes rare power. To you, Asha, the Eight-Headed, we offer our lives, brethren. So he has the crystal. So. Let's set the villagers free, shall we? That should be an adequate distraction. Hey, help him. Help us. Let us out. I will. <laughs> and of course, that one leather lever opens on? everything. Now we have to wait for them to make the distraction. What's this? Oh, that's just the same. I look forward to hearing their explanation. You, take care of those creatures. I've no time for this. Are you distracted now? I think so. It's gonna make a break for it. Oh, oh. Now's my chance. Yes. Take the crystal. Got it. Perfect. Okay. Still sneaking. Still scared. More ghouls. Oh, there he is. Where is the crystal? Ah, he found out it's gone. Such a marvelous performance, my dear. Running. Now let's go see to that Liana creature. Okay. They seal the exit. Find the river. It's our only chance. They closed that gate, but open these gates. What the hell? Okay. This way, and that way, and this way, and that way. Into the darkness. I'm sending you to the free city of Stonehelm to meet a sorcerer named Menelag. He and I have certain shared allegiances. Right now, he's looking for an artifact called the Skull of Shadows, for reasons of his own that are doomed to fail. He thinks you're going to help him, the fool. At least not without this. The Shantary Crystal that we retrieved. However, boy, I don't trust you out there alone. I need someone to hold your leash. One can travel lighter than two, Sarah. Don't worry. You'll learn to enjoy the pain. You can call me Xana. The plot thickens. What was that? The last thing I need right now is dreams and visions, but it felt so real. Anyway, the crystal is mine again. The bad news is that I've made an enemy of Aaron here, and he doesn't look like the forgive and forget type. I have to get the crystal to Liana only because only Sarah, something. Probably she knows how to get to the place. Easy there. What happened? I had a dream. Xana? What's going on? Who? What are you, really? That dream was just a necromancer's curse. What's it? Don't believe any of it, dear. I'm a friend, an ally. And I could be even more. That's a little bit gross. Anyway, it seems like we're getting more of an insight into what actually happened. Like, Fen Master Fenrig and this Xana girl. They're trying to pull the wool over our eyes. So in the next episode, we'll end up finding out more about this little conspiracy they've constructed with this crystal. 
and will depart to find the Skull of Shadows. Until then, thank you all very much for watching. I hope you're enjoying this game. And, as always, I'll see you guys next time.